Hey, hey, I'm back. Uh, this time I'm talking about QuickType IO yet again. Uh, this is a really cool tool. It's browser based, but also now integrated into the IDE or Visual Studio for Code to essentially allow you to take your JSON that you have and convert it immediately into data types for multiple languages. It's super cool. It really helps you on the fly. Uh, when you have some JSON, you need to get those types into Visual Studio or into other IDEs. And I figured I'd take a few minutes to check out the new integration into Visual Studio. So let's take a look. All right, so here I am on quicktype.io. That is the main website. Uh, now, after you open the app, it'll redirect you to the app, which is pretty cool. But we'll just kind of scroll down the new site. They have everything open source on GitHub. They have a blog. They have a support link. And it's really important to know that all this is free uh, while you're just going out and developing. Uh, you can scroll down, learn a little bit about the different languages that they support, such as Swift, TypeScript, C Sharp, JSON, GraphQL, things like that. They also have a command line, so you can actually just do things via the command line and output some data, uh, and they kind of show you some different things that they support. Now, everything is free, so everything I'm gonna show you is completely free. They also have like enterprise support, if you want email, CLI support, things like that. You can also get that, but everything I'm gonna show you is free right here. So what I'm gonna do is just open the app online, and this will take me to app.quicktype.io, and this is very similar to what we saw before, but they've updated a little bit. So here I can select the type of source that's coming in. This is the Pokédex. Uh, I can select some different information uh, samples here. So there's like some JSON, just very simple. And what we'll see is that it will automatically create all of the C Sharp for me automatically. And uh, what's nice here is that you can change the namespace. So you could change this to welcome. Uh, and then that updates in the IDE or kind of the web IDE, if you will. You can copy it out if you wanted to, and we copied all the C sharp. I really like that it creates these partial classes and converter types for you. So you can just essentially say welcome dot from JSON, and it'll convert back everything that you need. So it adds those nice extensions. But what's cool is that you can uh, adjust the property density, so we can change a few things and say no, I always want lists, so give me lists. And um, I want just types, for instance. So just I can say, oh, only give me attributes. So I can kind of really add the ver verbosity here if you want. So I'll save this back to normal. So there's the full JSON things. I can have it detect maps, detect enums automatically, merge similar classes. So I have a bunch of different things in here. So I figured what I would do is I would take my uh, familiar monkey JSON that I have all over the place and show you what it looks like to use the web ID, which is basically paste that in. Here it is. I have everything coming back. And then I would go in and say, this is going to be monkeys. There we go. And now I have a namespace of monkeys uh, and classes coming in there, which is cool. But they've integrated this into the IDE. So I'm inside of Visual Studio, and you can now go into your extensions and updates and never have to leave your IDE. And in fact, when you go um, online, you're going to search for QuickType, and you'll install the paste JSON as code QuickType extension, which is super cool. Now, this is their initial version, so it's not overly complex. It's not um, um, super crazy or anything like that, but it works out of the box. So I created a new app. I installed uh, JSON.net, and I'm just going to add a new class. So I'll say add new class, and I will say monkeys. There we go. So essentially, I think of creating all my models in normal space. And then what I can do is essentially delete that information in the file. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to go into uh, uh, edit. There we go. And use this paste JSON as code. So that's where it is because it's kind of like in my paste information. So I could paste this, which is just going to paste my JSON. We don't want that. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead down and say edit paste JSON as code. What that'll do is it's going to essentially spin up everything uh, that it would give me if I was on the web. Now it does use the quick type as the namespace, but it uses the C sharp code file as my class. So there's monkeys there, for instance. So I could say monkeys dot from JSON, which is super nifty, and I have all those helper classes coming in. You can then modify this, like I like to put my using statements outside of it, for instance, but it does give you the information to say, hey, add newtonsoft.json, and boom. So now you're saying, well, James, isn't this just built into Visual Studio already, and why do I want to use this stuff? Well, you want to use this stuff because if I come in and just do a special paste, JSON is classes, which is the built-in one, 
it doesn't necessarily give me very much information at all. It gives me an object root, class one, property one, and that isn't very helpful at all. Like I have to go and then finesse that a bunch. Uh, if I come in and paste JSON as code, then I actually get all the nice converters, the monkeys from JSON, um, and it knows that it's an array already. So it'll just give me the monkeys array back. So it gives me that context and kind of make sure I don't have to do a lot of work. Now that one's pretty simple, but I figured I would show a little bit more of a complex one here. So this is the, some text analytics coming in. So this is from cognitive services. You can look at all the JSON here. So it analyzes this for some sediment and there's a bunch of arrays going on, a bunch of other things going on. So I figured I'd copy this and kind of compare and contrast because this is normal JSON that would be coming back. So the first thing I'm going to do is a special paste. So the old school one, here we go. And we have a root object. We're seeing that there's lowercase here. We're seeing IntelliSense is just getting very mad at me. There's no namespaces. It's just classes, everything there, even language detected documents, errors, IDs, things like that. Now let's go ahead and use the quick type one, bup, 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 paste JSON as code. So here we go. Now we're looking pretty nice. So here, again, it's going to use monkeys because that's the class that I'm in. So we still have monkeys here, um, but you could obviously change that around. I didn't change a new file here, but look how we have language detection and it automatically adds those JSON properties, key phrases, sediment coming in. Um, analysis ID. It's really nice, like very verbose, automatically handling all of that for me. So I, as a developer, don't have to go and create all that. Anyways, uh, they just released this today. I was super jazzed for it. So I wanted to create a video. Uh, make sure you check out my blogs, uh, montemagno.com. Follow me on Twitter at James Montemagno and download this for Visual Studio because why not? It's awesome uh, and it'll really help you out. And it demos super amazing. Anyways, cheers.